The iMac Pro receives a lot of accolades for its multi-core performance, and rightfully so, but there are other things that this machine possesses that can help to speed up your workflow, such as its built-in UHS-2 card reader. Let's talk about that right now. So the UHS-2 reader on the iMac Pro is the very first time we've seen such a reader on a Mac. And when paired with a UHS-2 enabled SD card, it can provide tangible benefits for your workflow. As I mentioned in a previous video, UHS-2 cards have a second set of contacts that that UHS-2 reader in the iMac Pro can read. Here it is compared to a normal SD card. So let's compare this in a real world situation. I'm gonna use Final Cut Pro 10 to import this 19.64 gigabyte video file, and I'm gonna do so with both SD cards back to back. So first of all, we're gonna try the normal UHS-1 enabled card. This is just an old PNY card that I had laying around UHS-1 class three. So to keep things organized, I've created separate libraries for each import. And I've created a new event, obviously, in each library for each import. So I'll just click where it says import and select the file that we wanna import, obviously, and then select the event that we want to import to followed by import all, and then clicking start on our stopwatch. So instead of making you sit through all this, I'm gonna speed up the import process a lot, just so we can get through it, and you can see the final result. So you can see this is the UHS-1 card, and it's still importing four minutes and 49, 50, 51 seconds later, it is complete. So four minutes, 51 seconds, it took that long to import that 19.64 gigabyte file into Final Cut Pro using the card on the right. So let's try the UHS-2 card this time and take advantage of that UHS-2 reader inside the iMac Pro. So we're gonna to switch to our other library and we're going to select our video file and select our event. So the UHS-2 event this time and then we'll click import all and then start the stopwatch. And just like previously, we're gonna speed it up so you don't have to sit here and wait. But you won't be waiting long anyway because the import shouldn't take long at all. So we're at about one minute and 50 seconds and we're done. So that didn't take long at all, about three minutes faster than the UHS-1 card. So a noticeable difference in speed. So now we're going to test this out using just the finder. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that same video file from the SD card. This is the UHS-1 card to the finder, and we're gonna see how long it takes. Now it should be a little bit faster because there is overhead with Final Cut Pro 10. So we can see it's about three minutes and 28 seconds. So about three and a half minutes copying from the SD card directly to the finder. Now let's try the UHS-2 card and see what we're working with here. All right, we're gonna speed it up again. And the total time it takes is about one minute and nine seconds. So again, a noticeable difference between the two. So it really begins to make sense when you start to scale these numbers. Obviously, if you're just importing a video and you're saving three minutes, you only do it once a month it's not gonna make that big of a deal. But if you're doing this four or five, six times a week, it really starts to add up. For instance, say you save 15 minutes a week just on exporting videos. That's 13 hours every single year that you would save. And that's kind of at the low end of the scale when you talk about some of the big types of data that you can work with on some of these cameras these days. So really, it makes sense if you can scale it to go with UHS-2 cards. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9 to 5 Mac.